Hey my friend, it's Louis Massaro, author of 10 Rules of a Profitable Moving Company and founder of Moving Mastery. You know, we've been going now for, this is the ninth week, we've been talking about the 10 Rules of a Profitable Moving Company. It's a free ebook that if you don't already have it, if you haven't already downloaded it, go to my site, louismassaro.com, or I'm sure there's a link on this page. You can download it and get it instantly, it's free. And today we're gonna talk about rule number nine, which is one step at a time, all right? I put one step at a time in there because, you know, in business, it's, it's, you know, it's an emotional game too, right? I mean, it's not just do this, do that, do this, do that. It can get frustrating. It can get overwhelming. You know, there could be times where you feel like giving up and you just have to remember that you just have to go one step at a time. So, you know, you may look at, you know, another company and be like, wow, they're at this level and I really want to get to that level. I'm never going to get there. You have to realize that everybody that built their companies built it one step at a time. You know, maybe somebody had it handed to them. Maybe somebody had it given to them and it was already built, which is okay. But somebody before them, they built it one step at a time. All right. When I started my company, I didn't have anything. Right? I, had, I rented two trucks. I drove and worked out of a truck rental yard every day. I dispatched the trucks from there and, and that's how I started my business. And then I took it one step at a time. And you know what? Along the way, I made a lot of mistakes. I fell on my face. I made just a ton of mistakes that cost me money that just, you know, looking back at it, it's like, you know, you could say I wish those things didn't happen, but no. I don't wish any of the mistakes I made didn't happen because I learned from them. And if you're taking it one step at a time and you're making mistakes and every time you make a mistake, you learn from it, you're on the right path, right? You're on your way to build a business that you are envisioning, that you are dreaming, that when you started your company, you had a goal. You didn't just say, you know what, I'm gonna start a moving company so that I could create a job for myself and go to work and you know, just have something to do. No, you had, you were excited. You had a dream. You had a vision of a company that you were going to build, right? Whether that was, you know, two trucks so that you could support your family and, you know, have a nice living or whether you wanted to open 50 locations or whether you wanted to be the next big van line, whatever it may be, you had that dream and you had that vision, but you know what? There's a lot of steps along the way and it gets frustrating, right? And it's going to test you. Right? Business is going to test you. It's going to test your, you know, your character, your nerve, your ability to push through it. But you just really have to remember that if it wasn't hard, there wouldn't be the reward at the end. Right? If it wasn't hard, if there was no struggle, you wouldn't get that reward. So just remember, take it one step at a time. I know that we've gone over a lot of stuff. I've been putting out information every week. You know, the people that I'm working with, they know this, they know that, you know, it's all about one step at a time. It's all about laying out a plan of, you know, what we're gonna do first, what we're gonna do second, and how we're gonna get there and laying that out. You know, lay it out for yourself. You know, you have to look at like, what steps do I need to take? And then just execute on them every day, right? Listen, Rome wasn't built in a day, right? You've all heard that, right? Successful businesses were not built in a day, but, if you take the right steps, you can build a pretty successful business in, you know, two years, three years, you know, that time comes. If you look back and you think about what, what were you doing two, three years ago? Seems like yesterday, right? So if you start putting the right steps in place, the right processes in place, you know, you take some of these 10 rules that we've been talking about and you start implementing them into the, into your business on a consistent basis, you know, and other ideas that you have. These are only 10 rules. These aren't all the answers to everything that you need to, you know, run a, a profitable company. You know what you need to do. It's just a matter of doing it, you know, and the only thing that's going to get in your way is your mind, right? You could be your own worst enemy because you know you start getting frustrated and you start feeling like you can't do it and you start just getting discouraged and your mind starts going like oh, i gotta do all this stuff it's so much it's so overwhelming you know what one step at a time that's it that's all you can do you can just put one foot in front of the other and continue to move forward right and if you do that every day 
and you put some practices in place and you put some principles in place and you take these 10 rules, you know, and you start to really develop a plan of where you're headed, you're going to get there, you know, and when you get there, there'll be a whole new set of challenges, right? I mean, when I started, I had a vision for where I wanted to get to and then I got there and I was like, you know what? I want to go a little further and I got there and each step along the way has its own challenges. That's business. There's going to be challenges, you know, you can go work a regular job and get a paycheck, you know, and show up to work, work your hours, get your paycheck, punch the clock, go home, you know, and as long as you don't get fired, everything's all good. The challenges are minimal, right? But when you're in business, there's challenges, but with those challenges come the reward, right? And as the owner of the business, you reap that reward. So embrace the challenges, right? Make sure you're learning from all your mistakes. Make sure you're learning from all your failures. You know, if you haven't heard my story, I used to keep a little black book with me. Okay. When I first started, I was 19 years old and every problem that I ran into, every situation that I didn't know how to handle, I literally wrote in the little black book, put it back in my pocket, right? That night or over the weekend or whenever, I would search for solutions. I would go to the bookstore. I would read books, right? I would try to talk to anybody that I knew that was successful and try to figure out a way, right? So, you know, I'm sharing all this information with you to try to help you avoid some of that, but you're going to hit your own challenges. You're going to get your own set of unique circumstances that you're going to run into. And you just have to remember it's all part of the game. You know, it's like you can't play football and not get hit, not get tackled. You can't be in business and not have challenges. All right. You just need to remind yourself to take it one step at a time and you're going to get to where you want to go. And more importantly than that, you have to stay focused on where you're going. You have to envision where you're going. All right. When this video is over, here's what I want you to do. All right. Close your eyes. Envision your company two years from now. All right. Envision two years from now how everything could be, right? The company that you could build if you just focused on what's in front of you, took it one step at a time and started implementing, right? Envision what that would look like. What would it look like for you? You know, how many trucks would you have? How much storage would you have? Would you be doing long distance? Would you have multiple locations? Would you have a call center full of people working for you, an assistant that handles everything that you need handled, right? How much money would you be making? Literally, how much money would you be taking home every single month? You have to stay focused on that. You have to envision that. All right. When we get off, when this is, this video is over, all right, take a few minutes, take five minutes by yourself, close your eyes, envision that. Imagine what that looks like. Imagine what that feels like. You have to see it, then you have to believe it, then you have to go make it happen. All right. And you're only going to make it happen one step at a time. Don't get discouraged. You can do this. All right. It's a tough, tough business, the moving business. All right. But it's a great business. You can make a lot of money. Okay. A lot of money. If you're not already a millionaire in the business, you can become a millionaire in the business. All right. You just have to take it one step at a time. You can't go from A to, you know, L or to M. You have to go A, B, C, D, you know, one, two, three, four. You have to go in order one step at a time. All right. Do this exercise. I'm telling you, stay focused on the business that you want to build. Take it one step at a time. Continue to profit in business because that's what it's all about. Continue to thrive in life because you know what? If you're just profiting in business and you're not thriving in your life, it's not complete. All right. So keep it complete. Envision that too. When you're envisioning your business, envision the life. Envision you driving home from your office, right? However, you're envisioning that office, envision you driving home. What car are you driving? What does your house look like? All right. Let me tell you something. I started my business at 19. By 23, I was a millionaire. All right. I don't say this to brag. I don't even like to talk about it, but it's something that I just want you to know because it's possible. All right. And I know there's a lot of people in business, moving to any business, that get discouraged and it beats you down and it's, it just feels tough. 
you know what? Every day is a new day. Every day is an opportunity to take another step forward. All right. So again, profit and business, thrive in life. Thanks for tuning in. I really hope this was helpful. Do that exercise, envision your future, and then go make it happen. Hey, my friend, it's Lewis. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Do me two favors. Number one, subscribe to this channel so that you continue to get updates every time I release new training for you. And number two, if you'd like to get ahead a little bit faster and become more profitable in your business, what I'd like to do is give you a copy of my 10 rules of a profitable moving company. These are the same 10 rules that I applied in my business that helped me grow it into a multi-million dollar nationwide company. Okay, so all you need to do is click on the link on this page or head over to lewismassaro.com forward slash 10 rules. So that's Lewis, L-O-U-I-S, Massaro, M-A-S-S-A-R-O.com forward slash 10 rules. Just put in your name and email address and I'll email you out a copy. Okay, until then, every single day, go out and profit in business and thrive in life. I'll see you later.